Good morning, folks. A sense of relief finds me as last night's worry about a New Zealand 7 or 8 magnitude earthquake are averted for now. With the trans-equatorial coronal holes intruding the earth-facing fourth of the disk, our magnetic connection to the sun, along with all 10 sub-connectivity points, were bunched up in the top right and turning away. I've never seen all of Earth's connectivity within a single coronal hole, but that is exactly what we got last night. Furthermore, we are less than a day from the geocentric conjunction of Mars and Jupiter. Finally, I pulled up an entire year's worth of New Zealand quakes only to find yesterday's swarm in uncharted territory. Nothing in the middle for a year, and then the swarm. My mind was remembering the Christchurch disaster, but Earth beat me to the punch this morning as a large 6 magnitude earthquake has rattled that exact spot. There is a bit of damage, but no tsunami or injuries pressure released, and worry abated barring further foreshock activity. Also had the four-pointer off of Oregon, somewhat rare there, and reports of a man-made earthquake in Switzerland due to geothermal exploration. What you are looking at here is a Harvard animation to accompany their latest press release. Gamma bursts, Nova, and Gold, oh my. The main report details how a recent gamma ray burst detected in early June was the result of a collision between two neutron stars. Their post-outburst observations reveal faint glows of heavier elements in the aftermath, and they've suggested a large amount of gold was created in the explosion. Both article and paper linked for you below. In Europe, a significant pressure change is approaching in the Atlantic. You can see she will crest the eastern nations by early in the week. Meanwhile, the primary low decided to spread out to New Zealand down here rather than completely abandon Tasmania to do so. Next cell coming with each low yanking Antarctic air a bit north. Lost power briefly yesterday due to some short-lived but violent pop-ups. Today's energy heads due north up the central states. West coast still mostly dry until well north of the Canadian border with that spinning low out on the Pacific continuing to clear the way for California sunshine. Solar wind showing waning speed as the coronal hole impact ends. This density variation is normal and all geomagnetic indices are calm as of now. Sunspots actually gained some ground last night with the top region seeing positive blue development above the leading umbra, cut off from the backside matching polarity so that elevates her to gamma magnetic classification, while major development relative to yesterday occurred on the south. We actually have a delta spot opposing polarity umbras within the same penumbral region. So far, no major flares, but we are on the rise this morning. I'll get you some shots of that flare if the satellites update, the dancing plasma's encore from last night, and remember, the next equatorial coronal hole wasted no time to come see us. Eyes open, no fear. It's 6.50 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.